Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. The unlikely comedy duo hit the red carpet in Hollywood for the premiere of an unlikely comedy film. <laughs> 25 years ago, 21 Jump Street was a groundbreaking police drama centered on undercover cops infiltrating a troubled high school on a little fledgling network called Fox. Fast forward to 2012, Fox is all grown up, and 21 Jump Street is now a comedic romp where bungling police academy grads Tatum and Hill get assigned to infiltrate a troubled high school and bust a supposed student drug ring. You have the right to remain an attorney. Did you say that you have the right to be an attorney? You do have the right to be an attorney if you want to. Not only do the pair star in the film, they also co-executive produced it, and Hill helped write the laugh-heavy screenplay. But don't call it a remake. Hill and company are aiming in a completely different direction. Well, I just wanted to make a movie about getting to relive the most important part of your youth, which was high school, and uh, thinking you have all the answers and going back and realizing you have none of the answers. And we wanted to make Bad Boys piece of John Hughes movie. And this guy had the same feeling, and we just tried to protect that version of the movie. Yep. We'll be going in as undercover high school students. We grew up watching the show and we really loved it, so we had a real affinity for it. So we tried to put as many little details in it for people who are fans of the show. But we wanted to make it its own new thing because, you know, we wanted to, we, it's a movie and not a TV show and, and times are, are a little different now. So we just wanted to make uh, something special. We didn't think we would win if we just tried to imitate the show, you know. We felt like it had to be, um, it, ha it had to stand on its own two feet. And how's this for a cool retro moment? Original cast members Richard Grieco and Holly Robinson Pete coming together on the red carpet. It's the reunion part of our coverage. Yes, it's the Booker Haas tour. We're going to Vegas after this. So, how does it feel all these years later to come back and reunite on what doesn't seem like the exact same 21 Jump Street, but it is. In, in, the, in, in title, it is. Um, in the sensibility of what we did back then. Um, look, at the bottom line is we did a show that was the forefront of a lot of shows that we see today. We, we covered issues back then as far as drug addiction, alcoholism, abortion, racism, that, that we brought out cool people, cool kids, talked to cool kids about it. You know, I think it's it, it's an homage to what we did, but but Richard's right. There are people who are out there like, I don't know if you've heard from them, but I've been hearing from I've like, hearing from look, everybody. this is like the show that got me through my teen years. You can't make fun of it. You can't make it. Like, they've taken yeah. it very seriously. But I think um, what I brought from going down there and spending time in New Orleans is that J Channing and Jonah are a very formidable comedy team, and I think they do a good job. As if turning the premise of 21 Jump Street from drama to comedy wasn't a big enough gamble, there's erstwhile action and romantic lead Channing Tatum taking a stab at physical right. humor for the first time. Did you go through puberty? Like it's seven or something? He does action, he does romantic lead, and now he's gonna conquer comedy. Thanks a lot, Channing. Don't you have enough? Your cup runneth over, my friend. 21 Jump Street is probably best known as the TV show that introduced the world to a young 24-year-old Johnny Depp. And despite the complete 180 the filmmakers took from the original, they just couldn't forego that association. Depp makes an uncredited cameo appearance along with fellow series cast alum Robinson Pete and Peter DeLuise. Oh, when did I get stabbed? That's awesome! 21 Jump Street leaps into theaters this Friday. In Hollywood, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.